Hey, what's up everyone? It's Carlos here. So I want to talk to you guys about some different designs of the Neomorph that showed up a while ago. So when it comes to film, there are sometimes different artists lending their creative skills to come up with alternate designs for a project. So Alien Covenant also went through this. Now I have covered topics like this in the past, and now we have more unused art pieces that were meant to be alternate designs of the Neomorph. So the first one here is very different. It no longer looked humanoid or like a xenomorph in any way. This design went an entirely different direction. It came out as a more insect-like creature with multiple legs, a large body, a rounded head with four mandibles and two smaller claws in the front. This one could have resembled a spider or even an ant in some way. It was totally different than what I expected. The next design went back to look very similar to the Deacon alien from Prometheus, but still retaining the Neomorph spikes on its back. There were also some types of ridges located underneath the spikes on its head and back. We can see the inner mouth extends outwards like a goblin shark. I think this design was too similar to the Deacon, which is why it might have been rejected. Now, another design for the Neomorph went into making it look like a spider or crab. It would mostly be seen walking on all of its limbs, and it was designed to have two heads that could separate, and a third head would emerge between them. The splitting head idea was also seen in the second movie of the Species franchise. Another version had kept it in a humanoid form, with the hard exoskeleton and a pointed end on its head, but its two arms were replaced with giant blades, similar to the Mantis alien. So in this next design, the Neomorph took on a deeper look of a spider with multiple limbs and a long tail. It seems the extra limbs were used for attacking the prey, and its head had a bunch of sockets on it. Perhaps these were its eyes, and it also had two lower mandibles. And its infant version also had other designs. One of them changed it to look like the trilobite from Prometheus, having many large tentacles, a smooth fleshy body, and a bladed tip on one tentacle that would rip through the body of the host. Now its birth sequence also had a different version. It was adjusted to be more violent when it came out of the mouth. This time, the baby Neomorph would have tentacles pushing outward of the mouth, eyes, nose, head, back, and chest. This scene would have been more gruesome than what we got in the final version of the film. An alternate drawing of this idea showed the tentacles coming out from the back and it would wrap around the head of the host and rip it right off. The Neomorph would then proceed to exit the body from this massive hole. And another birth sequence showed the Neomorph ripping out of the stomach area and appearing to be like some type of insect with multiple legs and a long head. I also want to include some art pieces by Colin Shulver. One version of the Neomorph had a smooth, black head with a thin exoskeleton body. This version was modified later to then have a humanoid face with the goblin shark mouth. And another version had a gaping hole in its face, and the mouth area was different than the final version. Now, these are all very good ideas, and I think I would have liked to see the spider version in the film. It's not too different, but it has some new changes to it. So which one did you like the most out of these ideas, and do you wish they were used in the film? Let me know in the comments section. Now I'm also going to leave links to MPC and Colin Shulver's website so you can see the rest of their work. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, my name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.